Simo Hayuha, taking no scoping to a whole new level. Hello everybody and welcome to History Abridged. It's history, just shorter. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most skilled snipers in history, a Finnish man named Simo Hayuha, also known as the White Death for good reason. Simo was a simple man. He was a farmer, a hunter, he did his year of mandatory military service, uh, and apparently he did well because he was promoted all the way up to corporal by the time his year ended. But when the Soviets invaded Finland in 1939, he grabbed his rifle and reported for duty. Simo participated in the war for about a hundred days, in which time he killed approximately 500 people. Wow. He was such a menace that the Soviets sent teams of counter snipers after him. You know, the guys who were trained to find and kill snipers. And not only that, they started dropping bombs on him. None of it worked. He managed to kill the counter snipers and avoid every bomb they dropped. So how was any of this possible? How can one man kill 500 people in a hundred days and in a time of the year when there was so little daylight. Well, for one, he was tiny. He only stood at five foot three. Now this gave him an advantage because a smaller person can hide much more easily than a large person. Two, he was supplied with winter camouflage gear and the Soviets weren't. That made the Soviets a lot easier to see and he was practically invisible. Third, he preferred to use his rifle with just the iron sights. Now at first that may seem stupid, but when you think about it, there's actually a lot of advantages to just using the iron sights. When you use a telescopic scope, you actually have to sit higher on the gun as opposed to just using the irons. Also when you're using a telescopic scope, the sun is likely to reflect off of the glass, giving away your position. Those are the pros. The con is you have to be a really really good shot to pull that off. And evidently, he was. When someone asked him how he got so good with the gun, he just simply said, practice. Eventually, the Soviets did manage to get him. On March 6th, 1940, Simo Hayuha was hit in the face with an exploding bullet and didn't die. Literally, he didn't die. He survived an exploding bullet to the face. Yeah. That's insane. He woke up on March 13th, coincidentally, the day the Winter War actually ended. And despite, you know, his face exploding, he managed to make a full recovery. Because, you know, a badass doesn't let little things like bullets and explosions stop him. <laughs> After the war, Simo went back to his farm and became a professional moose hunter and dog breeder. Because, you know, why not? Eventually, he passed away at the age of 96 in 2002. Crazy, right? One guy killed 500 people in 100 days. Now, I'm not one to admire killing in and of itself, but you have to admit the kind of patience, fortitude, and willpower something like that would take is astronomical. Something you would only regularly see in some stupid action movie. Except, for comparison reasons, Arnold Schwarzenegger has killed somewhere between three and 500 people since 1960 on screen. He has nothing on Simu Hayaha. Once again, thank you everybody for watching. This was History Abridged.